I tried every seat on the most expensive airline. Lock in. There is a seat on an airplane called an A380 that literally comes with a living room, a private bathroom, a private bedroom. A private bathroom? I haven't seen that on a fucking airplane. And a personal flight attendant. Now, I have no business flying in that seat. It only exists on one airplane in the entire world. However, I owe my friend Isaac a favor. His brother David lives across the world in Singapore, and they haven't seen each other in 10 years. Isaac asked me to deliver David a letter and his favorite cereal from the U.S. all the way to his brother in Singapore. Kraken Oat Brand? That's his fucking favorite cereal? What the fuck is that? I've never even heard of that. But if there's one thing I know, going on this adventure of riding in every single class on the most expensive airline in the world would be insane. But the only way that's going to happen is if I could foot the bill on a sponsor. Thank you, Shopify. I packed my bags, made my way to the airport, and boarded my first connecting flight to Singapore. Wait, so is his ass gonna fly there, back, there, back, there, back? Is he gonna do, dude, straight fucking there? He's literally just keep for like a, a week? That sounds so ass. Singapore. On my way to my seat, I did pass through business class. I'm not sure how you can even call this a seat. I also passed through basic plus. Look at that leg room. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. And finally made it to my first seat oh. of the video. Oh. I don't think I could do, I, the longest plane flight I've ever been on was five hours, and I've never flown in anything that wasn't coach, but flying in a seat like this for 20 hours sounds horrible. Face it. So on this first flight, we're going to be flying from JFK to Abu Dhabi, which is nearly a 13-hour flight. I'm most likely going to be doing a lot of voiceover because I'm socially awkward. I passed the time by measuring our legroom, four inches by the way, and also just by staring out the window until our first meal arrived, about an hour and 15 minutes. That shit looks horrible, dude. This looks like a fucking elementary school lunch. They got that fucking vegetable slop. It's into the flight. All right, lunch is served. Here's what we got. A water bottle, bottled at the source, a bread roll covered in a nice layer of plastic chicken and rice veggies uh. strawberry cheesecake and the nectar of the gods sprite this looks really good i'm excited how's the chicken have you tried it that's Betty. She didn't hear me. She wouldn't ignore me. We're actually friends. She's my basic buddy. Silverware. I don't think I've ever touched silverware on a plane before. This is crazy. This is like first class treatment in basic. I spent the next few minutes absolutely housing this meal. I mean, this is hands down the best meal I have ever had on an airplane. This food is so good. Shortly after finishing- I don't think I've had a meal on an airplane. Every time I go on an airplane, this is me. I sit in my seat. For six hours, not moving. I don't want to talk. I'll listen to the same song on repeat 40 times. I found myself in desperate need for the bathroom, which is a great opportunity for a tour. Pretty, pretty basic, yeah. We've got a sink. The tile is nice. Oh, it's not actually tile. The toilet is, it's definitely a toilet. The flush button's got some use, but that's, that's a good thing. It's doing its job well. Overall, pretty fun in here. Uh, gets the job. Me flushing batteries down the fucking, down the toilet during a, during a flight. Me putting me putting a bunch of double A batteries into into an airplane toilet. I've done. At this point we're I'm joking! I'm joking! Spirit Airlines, please don't kick me off of flight. Flying over the I middle do that. of the ocean and it's late. I tried turning on a light but accidentally flashbanged Betty, so just bear with me with the lighting. Greetings. <laughs> I will say that so far the service has been incredible. Just a bit ago, I was in the bathroom, so I missed the coffee delivery. I asked the flight attendant for a coffee. She brought me a cappuccino and Oreos. This is my first time eating an Oreo suspended 35,000 feet in the air. It felt amazing. I drank my cappuccino. I thought he was about to say it was his first time eating an Oreo. You know, it was also delicious. I feel like I'm in first class. I do. I am so excited to go to Singapore. I remember when I was in like eighth grade and we had a textbook that said Singapore is one of the nicest countries in the world and ever doesn't singapore hang you if you have weed laws in singapore for the death penalty convicted trafficking more than 15 grams of heroin 250 grams of meth and 500 grams of cannabis okay so that's a shitload of weed i think years ago you used to be able to just get you they would kill you if you had weed i don't know for sure i remember there was an episode it might have been on a movie of jackass or like an episode of something where steve-o swallowed a condom full of weed because he wanted to bring weed to Singapore, but they were telling him that if he got caught, they would probably kill him, and he was like, I don't give a fuck. And then when he got to the airport in Singapore, he shit out the condom and then smoked the weed.
I'm gonna do some work and I will catch up with you soon. At this point, I crack open a bag of cherry berry ropes, recline my seat, and open up my laptop for some top secret work. <laughs> I'm working on my computer. <laughs> I'm a hard worker. A few hours later, we got to watch the most mesmerizing sunrise ever. So I asked Betty to take a video of it. She did a great job. It's recording, right? Yeah, it's so pretty. It's so hard to capture it, right? I know, right? Yeah, exactly. Now that the sun is up, that means it's time for breakfast. The basic plus section gets served first, which means by default, Betty and I get served last. We are in the last row after all, but that just means I have more time to play Angry Birds and watch Trolls at the same time. Hi, Dad. Angry Birds. I haven't played Angry Birds in years. Is chicken with rice or coconut curry? How did the chicken? Breakfast. Breakfast. Coconut curry. Do you got like waffles? It's very nice. It's like a burrito bowl. How yummy. With guacamole. Okay. But nice, yeah. Eh? Thank you. <laughs> Guess what's for breakfast? Chicken, chicken and rice. A Big Mac. Nice. Oh, that. I'm shitting my pants, dude. You're telling me I'm gonna eat that? Oh fuck no. That looks good. I'm shitting my pants. I'm on a 10 hour flight and you expect me to eat that and not have to fucking take a shit. I'm gonna be crop dusting the entire plane, dude. I'd be farting left and right. I watched this person play Angry Birds while I ate and then decided to interview the flight attendants because they have been amazing. Why are you guys so motivated to give such good service? We love our guests, so we always give our best. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Shante. Where are you from? South Africa. Really? Me and her. And how are you? So my name is Jocelyn and the reason why I give good service is because I love people, I love socializing with the people, and I love Etihad. You got this, Ryan! Do you think they make good money? Like how much do how much do you think uh flight attendants for like airlines that are going ten plus hours make? Oh surely. They don't they have to make something well. No, they don't. I'm going to Google that. How much do flight attendants make that go cross country? A Reddit forum has a flight attendant saying they make 75 an hour. An international flight attendant can make as low as 11K and as high as 100K. It probably just depends how many hours you're working. But I mean, that's a work day, right? Like if they, if they fly 10 hours, that's their day. We have arrived to Abu Dhabi. I was mildly concerned about my cereal coming into a new country, but I got through with ease. I would be celebrating right now, but I thought it was probably unwise to celebrate before my cereal gets through customs in Singapore. Regardless, this airport is awesome. Wow. Hey, <laughs> this airport is insane. It's honestly pretty comforting. Maybe because there's a Texas chicken directly behind me. Flight number one complete for the cheapest seat on the flight. That was a great experience. If it only gets better from here, I don't know how I'm going to behave. My Ryan is too positive, bro. Ryan is too positive, bro. Great experience. You're telling me he was having fun. Like he enjoyed it. I'd do it again. No, no. I love that about him. Oh yeah, dude. He makes everything seem great. But if I if this was a Joe Bart vlog, I would say that shit was trash. I'd say this shit was okay. I'd say that was good. That was great. I'm Sorry not gonna to be like, yeah, sitting in the back of a plane for a 10 hour flight was very enjoyable. No, that's a weird, weird thing to say. If it sounds like no I'm shouting my was. words, it's because it's 3 a.m. in the U.S. And since my next flight to Singapore is in 10 hours, I'm gonna go to sleep and keep this cereal safe. <laughs> I hope it's still in here. <laughs> it should be. Okay, let's go to a hotel. I gotta find a better way to get these shots. Very nice. This is literally in the airport. I'm gonna go to sleep. Good morning. It's nighttime. I got out of bed, took a shower, and got ready to board my flight to Singapore. I'm honestly just excited to fly on this airline again, especially- Dude, I really wanna- I don't know why, but I wanna experience jet lag. I wanna leave- I wanna leave, like, New York airport at, like- 10 at night, go on to like a 12 hour flight and it be the same fucking time when I arrive and just being really freaked out by it. It's not a fun experience. Oh, I know, but I've never experienced it. Like I've flown a bunch of places with time change, but the time change is like three, four hours. So it's not that crazy. But like if I flew, if I flew like to Asia or, or some shit where it's like right now, it's like fucking three in the morning. It would feel so weird. Because the cereal is still safe. Basic plot. I wish he, I wish he had the, the price of these seats. Like, how much do you think that seat costs? I have 
have arrived to my basic plus seat. I cannot tell you how uncomfortable I am right now to be filming this, but I will say I paid extra for this seat and it shows. Look at this leg room. I can't yeah, wait to measure that. How much did he pay? This seat probably had to be thousands of dollars. Even a shitty seat flying that far. Also, my seat buddy moved right over to the left because there was an available seat, which means this is basically first class. Look at this elbow room. <laughs> so the next stop is Singapore. Let's see what it's like to live the basic plus life. All right, I'm going to stop recording. I can literally smell business class from here. It smells like luxury. <laughs> they have lay down seats. I'm feeling a little FOMO, but honestly, I'm just ready for this thing to take. Oh, yeah, we took off. Okay, let's go to Singapore. As I got situated, I realized most people are already asleep on this plane. If you're looking for leg- Everybody is fucking knocked. Room? Sorry, I took it all. <laughs> 23 inches. It's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, I got a tinkle. I have arrived to the basic plus bathroom. It was fun to see everybody who's flying on the plane with me, but it was a long walk. This bathroom isn't so different from the last one. We've still got this beautiful tile that is not tile. The toilet does in fact flush. I tested it. Yo, I low-key love airports, too, because I'll have conversations with people that I will never see again in my entire life. Like, I remember I had that, I told you guys about that conversation I had with that one guy on the line. I don't even remember what he looks like, but he was a lovely dude. I remember having a conversation with him. He was chill as fuck. Me and him had, like, a five-minute conversation. I can't even picture his face, but I remember I had a conversation with him, and I will never see him again. I will never see him again. He's living his own life right now. I don't know what he's doing. What do you think he's doing right now? Probably chilling doing something. Maybe, I feel like he's probably watching a movie. Low-key. Memorial Day weekend. It's a Sunday. I think he's chillaxing. You know? I don't even remember his name. There is soap, a sink, trash can, all kinds of paper products that you may need. And if you're a baby, a place to sit. I'm having a great time. However, I am currently experiencing a little bit of turbulence on this plane. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go back to my seat. I also get a little plane <laughs> He just starts puking all over the fucking mirror. Dinner is served. Look at that. We've got the good life bread. Not sure what that means. Some vegetables. A specialty Eddie Hot beverage. It's Coca-Cola. That's what it is. Natural drinking water. Chicken and rice, which looks Oh, dope. that looks so good. Oh my god, that actually looks fire. Oh, I'd fuck that shit up, dude. Yo, I would mac that. Which looks delicious. This actually looks so good. And dessert, maybe banana pudding. I love banana pudding. It is literally midnight. This is the fanciest meal I've ever eaten at midnight. All of a sudden, I'm kind of panicking because I haven't looked inside my luggage since I left to check if the cereal is really in the box. I don't know why it wouldn't be. I just really want to get David this cereal. Also, just realized what he's worried that the, he's worried that there's not gonna be cereal, like that it's just an empty hollow box, or that they stole it. That meal was so good, and now that I have a full belly, I decided to. He's worried there's no crack in oat bran. He's worried. He's worried he's gonna have. A, he's gonna let down his friend. Man, I got you crack in oat bran. He opens the box. There's just fucking nothing in it. A bit more work on my secret project. <laughs> Top secret. Once again, I found myself with Oreos and other snacks. I'm just blown away by the generosity of these flight attendants, okay? And as the sun was beginning to rise, I decided to see what the flight attendants for Basic Plus had to say. Guys, we're almost in Singapore. I'm here with Michaela. Hi, how are you? She was my flight attendant today. Where are you from? South Africa. That's so fun. My last flight attendant. Why are they all from South Africa? We're from South Africa too. They were great, right? They were great. I love South Africa. Can I tell you why I'm going to Singapore? Why? I'm going to give a man cereal. It's, it's normal. normal. It's crazy. It's normal. That's true. That's you got this, Ryan. Yes. You got this, Ryan. Just the fuel I needed. I feel unstoppable. I'm sitting in my seat, and I'm just so ready to land. Okay, we landed. All right. As I was getting off the plane, the flight attendant invited me to meet the pilot. I don't know what's happening, but the captain is taking me with him all the way to the front of the plane. Have you been in a flight deck before? Never. Well, then go ahead. Now I can really say I've sat in every uh, seat on this airline. <laughs> yeah. I kick him out of the plane, and I fucking lock the flight attendant door, and I fucking start that plane up. And I that's my story on how I just fucking stole an Etihad or however you say it, fucking airplane. That's so cool. Thank you so much. Very good job. I convince him I just want to see the cockpit, but I fucking pit that bitch in reverse and fucking fly out. I said goodbye to the team and got off the plane with no doubt in my mind. That's when I saw something that made me want to puke. Customs. Every country has different policies for what you can and can't bring into the country. And in terms of categories, food is one of the most regulated items. Let's see if this cereal gets- Food is regulated, but it's usually produce because there's going to be certain, like, bugs or bacteria that if they're transported from one country to another can kill the crops and the like the entire country like if you brought like a mango back from like south america they wouldn't let you keep it it's through you know for uh, customs 
I feel like food. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. I thought it'd be cool to get an ominous video of me looking out at this crazy view. I've always seen this airport in photos, but now I'm actually here. Figured I might as well get a video in front of it. <laughs> Just for the record, that flight was awesome. The legroom was fantastic. The food was so good. The flight attendants were amazing. And I made it to Singapore. And guess what? I've got the cereal with me. <laughs> I cannot tell you how relieved I was when I opened my suitcase and it was actually in the box. I also have David's letter from Isaac. Aw, oh, so cute. Brothers, love each other. <laughs> So I'm not meaning it's actually a bomb in the box and he's like he's like don't open the letter give it to give it to my brother I knew I would trick you with the crackling oat brand Ryan delivered it right to you By the time you finish this letter the bomb will have already exploded I'm up with David for a little while and I'm actually really tired because it's like midnight in America So I think I might take a nap Good morning it's not morning. I slept for one hour. If you also find sleep pods, capsule hotels really interesting, the Yotel Air in Singapore, it's fire. It's a good one. Anyways, I've got a cereal box to deliver. I really want to make it look like I'm actually on an epic mission that matters. So I think I'm going to make the next few clips like a dramatic cinematic sequence. In a world where two brothers live in separate countries. Does this feel epic? I don't know. Can you guys just comment, wow, right now is epic? There's only one man equipped to unite them. It's me, Ryan. Yeah, so uh, I got a taxi to David's place and met him. This is this the end of the sequence? I hope it was good. Nice to meet you, David. Yeah, nice meet you. Oh, this is so sick. David, I flew all the way here because of what's Does in Does he this not know what's in the box? box? All right, I'm ready to see it. Okay, all right, you gonna close your eyes? Three, two, one. It oh. looks open, bruh. It looks open. Oh, crackling old brand. <laughs> Dude, yes. This is a great, great gift. This, we used to get this every Christmas morning. But yeah, we just all love this stuff. Let's Thank go. you, Isaac. Thank Peace, you, Isaac. buddy. This is so good. David Port- thought you were going to give me something other than fucking cereal, dude. Maybe money or like, uh, I don't know, uh, Chihuahua or something, bro. You give me fucking cereal. And that's when I gave him Isaac's letter. Dave, since you moved across the world, I know it's difficult for you to come home regularly. What's probably even harder though is that you have to go without some of the best food America has to offer. More specific. What really sucks is this crackling oat brand I poisoned with rice in. I told Ryan not to eat it. Hopefully he listened. Ryan's just in the back, just like. The kind that mom used to give us with our stockings every Christmas. I hope this box of Cracklin' Oat Brand brings you back to those lovely childhood memories. Oh. I would never do that, dude. No brand. Dude, that is scary as shit. What if they all just collapsed and he fucking smacked and the brings ground? you back to those lovely childhood memories. Eat it slowly because like all the best things in life, we don't oh, he's actually fine. fully understand how good things are until they're gone. Miss you, brother, Isaac. Now, Isaac has no idea about this part, but David's got a favor to ask as well. Deliver a letter back to Isaac and give him a Singaporean snack straight from David's pantry. There's only one man- Salted fish skin? For the job. <laughs> it's me. I put it in my luggage and yeah, I'll bring it back in. All right. My job is only halfway done. I delivered the cereal and now I've got something to deliver to Isaac. Mission part two has begun. I'm on my way, America. <laughs> After that, I had a few hours before my return flight home. David took me around Singapore. It's a beautiful place. It is funny that he wanted to do the flight review video, but he needed a reason to go. So he just conjured up like the dumbest fucking reason of I'm just going to deliver my friend a box of cereal. So it seems like I'm not just flying to Singapore and back for utterly no reason. <laughs> this is just so crazy. Like I said, I remember looking at Singapore in my textbooks in school, and I always dreamed of coming here. And I gotta say, it did not disappoint. <laughs> Except for the fruit that I tried, it was it was uh, unique. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't really like it. David got a kick out of that. Eventually, I headed back to the airport and prepared for my business class seat. It comes with a private airport lounge, lots of food and drinks, but my flight was boarding, so I headed to the gate. Hello, 7C. 7C? Your number's not even in the tens? Yeah, that's how you know you're in the fucking luxury area. Welcome to business class. I already took my shoes off and I don't even feel weird about it. They give you free slippers. Also, I was served this red juice almost instantly. It's watermelon juice. Guys, I had so much fun in Singapore. David? Yo. Watermelon juice. I feel like I'd just rather have just watermelon.
A watermelon juice? Oh, I feel like that would just taste bad. It's gas. It's actually good. The only problem is I didn't really sleep. I got like one hour of sleep at Yotel Air, and that was pretty much my sleep for the night. This flight that I'm on right now is once again an overnight flight, and I'm pretty sure that my seat reclines all the way down, like I can lay flat. But I don't want to sleep because I don't want to miss out on any of the cool stuff you get in business class. What's on the menu? Business. Mm, yeah, we're not in basic anymore. <laughs> Here's a quick list Does of it things come that free? come with the seat. A pillow, quite comfortable, I will say. Slippers, I already put them on. Why am I doing this with my feet? I don't know, but I'm in business class. <laughs> a fancy blanket, this baggie which comes with a face mask, earplugs, lotion, lip balm, face mist, and toothbrush and toothpaste. Another pillow, perhaps to cuddle. I am tempted to sleep, but I'm also scared to miss out on any cool stuff that they would bring me, so guess who's still Staying awake. <laughs> me. As the flight is taking off, I've developed a plan to not fall asleep in which I will be very strict about not even closing my eyes to blink. I fell asleep for four hours, oh my goodness. I don't even remember extending my seat into a bed, but here I am. One thing is for sure, this is the most comfortable airplane seat I've ever had. I'm not proud of it. I'm not. On one end, I missed out on four hours of business class luxury, but also did I? Because I was laying fully down on an airplane. The flight attendant, when I woke up, she brought me coffee. It looks really oh good. Oh my God, with the Godiva. Business class luxury. Yo, but the seats, see, he's not saying the seat prices though. The seat's probably like $10,000. The flight attendant, when I woke up, she brought me coffee. It looks really good. She was also like, but you don't want to like a main cruise or anything. And I was like, oh yeah, I, I didn't, that's awesome. I didn't know I could still get it. And she was like, I know, thank you so much. And I said, I mean, I'll yeah, just. She remembers how much he's eaten. Do the fruit. Bro, just do the fruit. Get a main course, you motherfucker. What the fuck? They just got a cheese selection. Artesian crackers. And I'll just get ice cream just for the experience. And she said, okay. <laughs> that's crazy. <sighs> So I'm looking forward to that. I have not used the bathroom yet. I've got some work to do before we land. Let's get after it. Thank you very much. That was not only the best fruit I've ever had on an airplane. That was the best fruit I've ever had. <laughs> that was so good. Ice cream? When in Rome. And then randomly after eating, I got really emotional, like about to cry. <laughs> I can't tell if this is out of gratitude or because I just ate some solid ice cream, but either way, I need to pull myself together. He just started crying for no reason. I mean, he was probably thinking about how cool it is that this is his fucking job, honestly. Like he literally just gets to like fucking travel the world and shit. Guys, I finally made it to the business class bathroom. It is nicer. It is. We do have the same tile as before. However, look at all this other stuff you get. The hand soap is in a special container. The faucet does look fancier. It really does. You've got a nice assortment of hand products. Not one, but two mirrors. <laughs> also, potentially the best part when you're doing your business in business class. I mean, talk about elevated. There's a window. Babies can also sit here. Window behind you. If you're taking a dump, you can't even fucking see it. I don't know what babies are flying business, but let's test this bad boy out. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna use the toilet. I just used the toilet. I know it looks like I'm just flushing it, but I actually used the toilet before filming. It felt inappropriate actually filming myself use the toilet, even if I'm not showing anything. Like, even if I was just showing my face and cut out the audio and allowed there to be, like, the assumption that I'm using the bathroom and the visual, it just feels weird. Nah, he should have, like, he should have done a cut. Like, a jump cut to, like, him, like, holding his breath. Just, like, like fucking tensed up. Like, dying on his sweating. Just douse himself in water. I feel like a business mogul working up here. <laughs> no, but really, this is so cool. Before landing, I freshened up with some complimentary face mist. We have arrived to Abu Dhabi, but as soon as we landed, two security guards came on the plane asking for me. How's it going? I'm, I'm good. Awesome. I Yo, I'd start tweaking, dude. I'll you soon. All right, thank you. Oh, I don't know. Because his next, oh, his next flight. It's probably, it's probably a part of the fucking ticket. So what I did wrong, I don't know if I'm in trouble, but two men personally took me off of this airplane and are now driving me in this little car thing to I don't know where. It felt like we were driving for hours until eventually they dropped me off at a private suite. What in the world is Yo. going on? I literally thought I was getting- Dude, I'm telling you the seat's probably like $30,000.
for them to do that, I I want to know. I I hope he just at least tells us how much this one was. Getting escorted off the plane because I I was a little gassy. Some things just don't sit right with my stomach. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the durian. Shout out to David. I cannot believe this is real. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I have an abundance of fruit and- What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that thing? Lychee? Never seen that shit in my entire life. I've seen- That's dragon fruit. I know what all this other shit is. I don't know what that is. What the fuck is that? I have a waiter named Ollie. I think he's bringing me salmon. I think it's 1am. Well, why am- why is that even available? The people that have seen my boarding pass, they kind of look at the part where it says the resi, and they're like, oh, oh, hello, sir. Before I show you this private room that I'm in, just for the record, business class was amazing. I did sleep for like half of it, but it was extreme. Yeah, they're probably used to like old men that are just fucking splurging on that shit because they're multimillionaires. They see Ryan Trahan. Like a 25-year-old white guy. The service was amazing. It was dark the whole time, so the, the vibes were cozy. I have nothing bad to say about business class. Do I miss my old flight attendant friends? Yes. But honestly, it's hard to focus on how good that was whenever I get escorted off the plane immediately and brought to a private room that has a toilet in it. Let me show you around. Looks like we have coffee and... Voss water? Ooh, Richie Rich, eh? Voss water, abundant fruit and pastries, a huge couch, a luxurious dining table, and an entire- You know what annoys me though is that fruit's probably warm. I don't like warm fruit. I want cold fruit. Like, you know, one of the most unenjoyable experiences is eating a, a warm banana. And an entire bathroom with a shower in it? What? Who is this for? If this is before the flight, what have I gotten myself into? I really, this is crazy. I sat down at my dining table <laughs> for some salmon. I still can't believe they have someone making this good of food in the middle of the night. After that, the two security guys picked me up and took me to the gate for our final flight. <laughs> He literally gets a whole fucking room from one dude. Guys, this is unbelievable. I immediately walk into my coffee order. I enjoyed my cappuccino and played some Angry Birds. Some things never change, I guess. I don't even think the flight has officially begun boarding. This is gonna be crazy. And we're off. A 13-hour flight back to the United States. And I am flying in the residence. There's so much stuff that comes with this seat. I don't even think I can call it a seat. Frankly, if you ask me what this background is before I step foot in here, I wouldn't even be able to tell you it's a plane. This looks like an apartment. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say this about an airplane seat, but how about a tour? This is the main seating area with a TV and two Dude, seats. that is a literal fucking flat screen. And they have those movie-ass lounge chairs. And two seats. This time we have not one, but two blankets. This bench area has, um, an entire refrigerator fully stocked with sodas and Voss water. What in the world, man? This is crazy. <laughs> the other benches are for storage. You could put stuff in there. This seat also comes with noise-canceling earphones, which work great if you want to prepare to watch the Penny Series movie. The seats also have buttons that can assist you during the flight. Look what happens if you press the fork button. Ooh, oh, a snack. <laughs> just kidding. The flight attendant brought it. It was just a joke. Is that just a cup? of almonds they look unsalted but this fun drink is not <laughs> no joke there's also a charging station and a touchscreen remote control but now for the reason they call this seat the residence all right this is ridiculous oh, a little bit of turbulence to my dude it'd feel like a waste though taking a nap on the flight though left like is if the you were gonna even if you were rich and you spent the money on this i'd be like i don't want to sleep on the plane bathroom and you you are standing on a bed i mean this is outrageous isn't wow. this crazy i am on an airplane so this is a big bed i'm definitely going to be taking a nap what is this okay so they literally give you jammies do i anticipate a jammy time tonight <laughs> that would get crazy Respectfully, you know how many rich people are buying that shit and trying to, you know, reach the old mile high club in there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to get that out of my head in that on that bed. There's also a really thick sleep mask, slippers. They also give you tons of nice skincare. I'm definitely taking this home. And the last feature of the residence, a private bathroom with a shower. I don't know. This flight is fourteen thousand two hundred and eighty-three dollars. It says twenty thousand.
Tickets between London and Abu Dhabi are 20k, but he's flying from Abu Dhabi to the US, which is even further. It's actually so nice. We're still rocking the tile from basic. I love it. Pretty standard stuff up here, but this little towel rack is cute. Once again, not one, but two mirrors. And yeah, the fact that there's a shower in here is absurd. I came back to the main seating area and had a steak dinner, which I absolutely housed. And while I was doing some top secret work in my bedroom, I got a notification that said, we left another surprise for you. The best on earth guys they have joyride isn't that crazy my god i actually do want to try his candy dude it looks good as fuck get me time damn he slept seven hours as you can Bro, see, the I feel service like I, here I just wasted that. Is amazing. I looked through the menu. The crazy thing about this seat is you just order on demand. So I ordered some breakfast, and by the time I was done looking out the window, it had arrived. I mean, are you guys seeing this spread? <laughs> oh, if those are chocolate croissants, I would just eat all of them. My goal on this plane would be to run them out of chocolate croissants. Got a green smoothie with a latte, fresh fruit, a muffin, croissant, and butter and jam. I feel like I've eaten so much food in the last. 12 hours. This looks amazing though. What should I try first? Iced latte, bottoms up. That's insane. A bit of watermelon, fruit of royalty. But don't forget, the job's not finished. There is a man in America expecting me to deliver a Singaporean Completely gift. Completely forgot about that. From his brother. It's Isaac. Talk about Isaac. We just have a few more obstacles to overcome, he said from the residence. <laughs> now nah, I'm worried about customs again, but how much can you really worry in this seat? We are landing very soon. I have a private bathroom. I think I'm gonna use it. I'm me with fucking 10 grams of fucking crack up my ass that somebody in Abu Dhabi is forcing me to fly over with. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that fucking chicken curry on the flight before. I feel it. I feel it's like it's like a beaver dam. I can't get over all the skincare they give you. I don't know how to use it correctly, but I am going to bring it home for Haley. She's going to be excited. Oh yeah, morning routine in the residence. First, I brush my teeth. I put on deodorant. Smells pretty good. Next, I shave. There's literally a little bit of of hair there on my chin. So I shaved it, took off my jammies, did some skincare, and threw on cologne, which burned my skin because I just shaved it. Last few minutes. Hey, so why that face beautiful. is shiny. <laughs> This has been a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I can't believe it. Yo, they got, like, seatbelts on this bitch. If they got into a fucking big turbulence, this man's just fucking head is smack on the ceiling. Oh, shit. Hey. Hey. Here we have a delivery all the way from Singapore from your brother David. This is very exciting. David loved his gift, but will Isaac love his? This is the question. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Close your eyes. Okay. We'll save this for later. And here we go. All right, Isaac. Three, two, one. Salted egg fish skin. Bro, Your you favorite. can't get this in America? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh. 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 Okay. All the way from Singapore. Cheers. That's kind of gas. It's actually really good. <laughs> okay, now for the real surprise. He got you a letter. You can go read it over there. I'll give you practice. Uh, I, I don't want to eat that shit, dude. The one piece he had looked horrible. Have a seat. Oh, Isaac, bro, I miss you. I miss all the good times we've had and your humor. You are always the one to lighten the mood and keep everyone laughing. I hope everything is going well in Austin. A great quote I learned recently is a goal without a deadline is I wonder why he lives in uh, Singapore. It's a dream. Remember, it's important that we are purpose driven. So create a vision, mission and goals to get where you want to be. Then put your head down and grind relentlessly. You will succeed. David. Aw. That's sweet. A couple weeks later, I found myself walking into Target just to see what Joyride is going to look like in the candy aisle on June 15th. And as I was leaving... Wait, so they're going to be in Target? Something caught my eye. Pac-Man You made it to the end of the video. Thank you. Oh, my God. Dude, that was a good fucking video. I love Ryan's videos, man, honestly. All right. Dude, I gotta piss again, and I don't care. And then we have two more videos. Hey, count me down!